Proverbs 31 challenges us in verses 8 and 9 to be a voice for those that don't have a voice. Plead the cause of those being led to the slaughter. And if not you and me, then who? At Calvary Chapel Downey, we have a crossroads pro-life ministry and we are partnering with Living Help Center here in Downey, a pregnancy center that is doing amazing things on Wednesdays. They are allowed to have a van come to the parking lot where their office is located and offer pregnancy tests, ultrasound, and Christian counseling for the women. When a woman sees their ultrasound, most of the time, 80 to 85% of those women will choose life for their baby. Maybe they were thinking of not going through with the pregnancy, or maybe they're not married and they're pregnant, or their parents or families have kicked them out. Our job is to be that unconditional love to them, but they know that there is a purpose for them, there is a purpose and plan for their baby, for their family, and that they can find God and they can find healing. Jesus said in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief, the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and that more abundantly. My challenge would be pray about starting a pro-life ministry at your church. Time is short and we need to stand in the gap for men and women who are contemplating abortion and offer them hope and resources and life, abundant life in Jesus Christ.